What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, GuitarJams.com. Uh, not my specialty, but I worked hard on this to teach you guys and break it down to a uh, digestible lesson, a great finger-picking, acoustic kind of riff for you guys. So I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, also, I do have other finger-picking lessons, a bunch of other theory lessons, all at GuitarJams.com. Uh, I'm going to leave a link for the site down there, and you can actually try it for free for three days. Uh, just to see if you like it, and I appreciate that. But anyway, let's zoom in, and I'm going to break it down for you super slow. All right, here we go. So, we've got the capo. <laughs> I sound like Papa Stash now. So! Uh, we've got capo, one, two, three, fourth fret, and then all my numbers are going to be one, two, three, four from the capo on the fourth fret. All right. Another thing, the whole main riff basically has our left thumb planted on this G note. So keep that in mind because we're going to kind of focus on the fancier stuff over here, and then we can add this uh, later. So I really want to try and break this down for you and help you be able to play it. So check this out. We want index finger on the first fret of the B, and we want middle finger on the second fret of the D. All right? And then my thumb is on the D, my index is on the G, and my middle finger is on the B. Check it out. So actually, we'll add our thumb right now, but then focus. So we've got that. Then I'm going to go over to that little cluster here on the D, G, and B, and we're going to hammer on that little shape I showed you. So that G, nothing's happening to it, but it's part of the little hammer claw thing. So check it out. Also right after that, you can come down and do that percussive thing. See that? And I find the bet. this is how I learned the riff too. It's like adding one uh, little mini second or m millisecond at a time. Then we're gonna hit it again. Check it out again. followed by an open D with the thumb and the open G with the index. Put it together. Really slow this time. So the next thing we're doing is we're playing the open D, ring finger hammered onto the third fret of that D, of said D. Now watch what happens when I add that to what we have. Here, sorry. So it's a ba wow. It's not bang. It's da wang. Two notes with a hammer on. Then we're going to play the open G with our index finger, so it's, and then with our middle finger plucked on the B, it's the first fret, so that whole move looks like this. Watch what happens when I add what we did before. time, real slow, and this is ringing out, mind you.
watch this. So after we do the hammer-on on the third fret of the D, G, B, middle finger goes down to the second fret, and we play the D and then the open G with the index. Same pattern with my right hand, open D, open G. And when you put all that together, you have the riff. So the other section, you got a C chord, and you could play a C major 7, which is just taking the index finger off, and then an A minor 7, which is just like an A minor, but it's actually, look at that, but now with the A in the bass, so, so it's C, 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 open A with that shape, back to the riff, all right, then, Back to the riff. Hope that helped. I hope you uh, enjoyed that. Remember, guitarjams.com, right down there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in another lesson real soon. Take care.